Good day, viewers. So this mathematics class, we are going to be looking at the conclusion of our standard form. So they want to look at the cases involving square roots. Example one, express the square roots of 0 0.000144 in the standard form. So we have, express the square root, square root of 0 0.000144. So the first one is to move this to your point away from these digits. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That is one, four, four, multiplied by 10 is power. Since you are moving backward, it's negative. I will move six times, negative six. So square roots. So this can be written as square root of 144 multiplied by square root of 10 is power minus six. Now, your square root of 144 is 12 multiplied by, we can't get the square root of this, but these square roots can be changed to 10 to the power minus 6, that is times 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 here, power 1 over 2, it means square roots. So 2 here, 1, 2 here, 3. So we have 12 times 10 to the power minus 3. We have to express this in standard form, that is, by putting a decimal point at the back of the first digit, which is non-zero. So let's put it like this. So we have 1.2. Since you are moving forward, it is positive, times 10 is power. You move once, 10 is power 1, times 10 is power minus 3. So we have 1.2 times, pick one of these 10, 10 is power 1. Then this change of plus, plus minus 3. Open bracket and close it. 1.2 times 10 is power 1. Plus and minus, minus 3. So 1.2 times 10 is power 1 minus 3, we have minus 2. So this is the final answer. Example 2. Without using mathematical tables or calculator, evaluates 0 0.18 times 12.5 divided by 0 0.05 times 0 0.2 with the square root. So now let's move this point away. 1, 2, so I have 18 times, I move backward twice, 10 is power minus 2. So when I'm moving backward, multiply by, move this one, 1, 1, 2, 5, times 10 is power minus 1, divided by 1, 2, 5, times 10 is power minus 2, times 1, 2, times 10 is power minus 1, square roots. See, all these are joined together by multiplication. So this can cancel this, this cancel this. So from here, we can have two here, one, two here, nine, five here, one, five here. Five in 12, we have two, remainder two. Five in 25, we have five. So we're going to have nine multiplied by 25, all square roots. So we have so you can say square root of 9 times square root of 25. So that is, square root of 9 is 3, times square root of 25 is 5. 3 times 5, we have 15. To put this in standard form, you have to introduce the points at the back of the first digits. So we have 1.5 times 10 is 5. You are moving forward to 1. So this is at the standard form. Example 3. Without using table or calculator, evaluate this. To evaluate this, let's change this to standard form. 1, 2, we have 14 times 10 is power minus 2 times 1, 32 times 10 is power minus 1 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 28 times 10 is power minus 4 times, now change this one to standard form. It's going to be 9.0 times 10 is power 1. You know, 10 is power 1 is 10. 10 times 9, we have 9. So introduce your square roots. So from here, what can go? So here we can have, if I have, I'm going to have 14 times 32 times 10 is power minus 2 times 10 is power minus 1 divided by 28 times 9 times 10 is power minus 4 times 10 is power 1 all square roots, 
Okay, 14 here, 1, 14 here, 2, 2 here, 1, 2 here, 16. So I will now have 16, this 16, multiplied by, pick 1, 10 here, 10 is power, minus 2, this changes to plus, plus, minus 1, then divided by 9, multiplied by, pick 1, 10, 10 is power, minus 4, plus 1, and don't forget, when you are working, don't always forget these square roots. Always take the square roots along. So we, we have 16 times 10 is power minus 2, plus times minus, minus 1, over 9 times 10 is power, minus 4 plus 1, minus 3. You put your square roots. Now, 16 times 10 is power minus 2 minus 1, minus 3 over 9 times 10 is power minus 3, put your square roots, then this cancel this. So you can have, have, we can have the square root of 16 is 4, over square root of 9 is 3. So 4 divided by 3, so we have 1.33, and so on like that. Now to put this in standard, we're going to be 1.33 times 10 is power 0. You know, anything is power 0 is 1, 1 multiplied by 1.33, we have 1.33. So, this is how to apply uh, standard form in solving cases involving square roots without using mathematical table or calculator. Don't forget, when you are working this way, don't always forget to put your square roots alongside until when you have found the square root of those numbers. So, by this, you should be able to solve any question involving standard form. But, if you have any question, kindly put it in the comment section below. Thank you very much.